Hey there, I'm Joe Carter. If you've ever popped the hood and thought, where do I even start? You're in good company. Around here, we take the mystery out of car repair, one fix at a time. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to sharpen your skills, there's something here for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're into learning without the headaches. All right, that's enough from me. Let's get the into oxygen it. oxygen sensor, signs of malfunction of which are known to most experienced car owners, plays a significant role in the functioning of the car. For all its inconspicuousness and small size, this regulator corrects the fuel mixture, thereby assisting the power plant. A car engine that receives a well-mixed air-fuel mixture runs as efficiently as possible. Unfortunately, the sensor regulator or lambda probe, as it is also called, has a tendency to deteriorate. Causes of malfunction and obvious signs. As a rule, the following reasons lead to the malfunctioning of the sensor, some aggressive liquid gets on the sensor. For example, antifreeze or brake fluid. Problems can begin if the owner used chemically active agents in the process of cleaning the regulator housing. If the vehicle fuel contains a large amount of lead compounds. In case of significant overheating of the regulator. This is either due to the use of poor quality fuel or a clogged filter. Regulator malfunctions can be judged by obvious external signs. It is easy to notice it. It is enough to pay attention to the following points, sharply increased fuel consumption, the car jerks jerkily, even when the engine is warmed up, the color and smell of exhaust gases has changed, catalytic converter operation is disturbed. Of course, the sensor is also negatively affected by general operating conditions. The electrical wiring or the regulator itself can be damaged if you are not attentive to the standard rules of car operation. Steps in turn, experts see two main stages of sensor deterioration. At the first stage of sensor malfunction, there is an increase in the time of engine reaction to pressing the gas pedal. The power unit reacts sluggishly when pressing the gas pedal. The check starts flashing, the pedal is lowered, the flashing stops. At this stage of the malfunction, the driver notices a deterioration in traction acceleration dynamics and an increase in fuel consumption, while insignificant. As a rule, this stage of regulator malfunction can last about a year. The second stage is much sadder. Most car owners at this stage think about why this oxygen sensor is needed. Normal acceleration completely disappears, the car dulls even on an absolutely smooth road. Another distinctive feature of the second stage can be called a decrease in the power unit speed, even when pushing the gas pedal to the floor. In the intake manifold at the same time can be heard popping. To be sure, it is recommended to start the car cold. If the oxygen sensor is defective on the second scale of severity, the car will work perfectly only for the first few minutes. When the device begins to function, sending signals to the ECU, problems will immediately arise. Note. The connection diagram of the regulator to the voltmeter should be based on its pinout, the black wire of the sensor is responsible. For the signal, goes to the controller, white wires are responsible for heating, gray, ground. Checking the readings of the voltmeter is a diagnosis on the dynamics of the car's powertrain. For example, if the cruising mode is engaged, 2500 RPM with the vacuum tube removed, a normally working regulator should produce. 0.9V, a little more or less. If the sensor reading is below 0.3V, the unit is definitely defective. Checking the sensor can have another mode. You can simulate a forced air intake, thereby depleting the air-fuel mixture. In this case, the regulator reading should be less than 0.2V. Another test mode is related to the intermediate position of the motor. In other words, if the powertrain revolutions are within 1500 RPM, the regulator should show a value of 0.5 V. In case of complete proof of the sensor's malfunction, it should be dismantled and replaced. And here it is necessary to adhere to certain rules. It is better to change the regulator on a running car, so to speak, hot. This gives more chances not to tear off the thread. 
It is also recommended that the connector of the new regulator be raised slightly, thus protecting the device from dirt and moisture. Finally, the sensor housing is recommended to be treated with graphite, even in the presence of factory lubrication. Almost all modern vehicles have an oxygen sensor. The location of the device can be different. On some cars it is located near the catalytic converter, on others, in the exhaust manifold. What to do if the oxygen sensor malfunction caught on the road if the sensor malfunction caught on the road or you need to go somewhere? Urgently, and the problems with the probe are not solved, what can be done? The solution is ingenious to the point of simplicity, you just need to disconnect the probe. Of course, flashing, check, will not disappear until the engine stops, and the dynamics, in principle, will not be normal. But you can easily get to the car service, albeit without convenience. It is necessary to install a probe, which is recommended by a particular car manufacturer. Putting some, left, device, albeit in order to save money, you can subject the engine to unbearable loads and problems. Undoubtedly, engine repair will cost much more than buying a quality oxygen sensor. How to change the oxygen sensor the car is lifted onto an overpass. The protection of the power unit is removed. In conclusion, recognizing the symptoms of a faulty oxygen sensor is crucial for maintaining your vehicle's performance and efficiency. If you notice issues such as decreased fuel efficiency, rough idling, or an illuminated check engine light, it may be time to have your oxygen sensor checked or replaced. Addressing these symptoms promptly can help prevent more significant engine problems down the road. Stay proactive with your vehicle's maintenance to ensure a smooth and reliable driving experience. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more automotive tips and insights.